Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be comparing three of my favourite sun killer sunscreens. I decided to compare three of my sunscreens in this post rather than doing them all in separate posts because I'm only doing two skincare products per month at the moment and the sunscreen ones are really short so I thought that I would be able to combine all three of them and show you three very different types of sunscreens from the same brand. So Sunkiller is a Japanese brand, the parent name is Ishian. I think I will write it down here because my Japanese pronunciation is not the best, although I do try. And I've got one of them out here at the moment, the other two I didn't think about and I packed them away in my bag. I'm going down to Napier for a work trip tomorrow morning so I have everything packed and I'm pre-recording like a month and a half sort of worth of footage today. So if you see me in this outfit multiple times. It's because I don't have enough time to record things as I go and I tend to make a whole month's worth of review talking um, in one go so that I have the correct lighting and things like that. Um, but because I'm away for, I'm actually away for 10 days as well, I have a fair amount of downtime because I'm only working in the evenings on those days. So I decided that I would record a whole bunch of reviews and then I'll have the time to edit them nicely while I'm away. Which is why in almost all of the March reviews I'm going to be dressed like this and half of the April ones. But I have cute fluffy earrings so like I'm not displeased about that. But back to the sunscreens, I'm going to be showing you one formula that is better for outdoor activities and a longer lasting. I'm going to show you one formula that is best for moisturising and one formula that is really really good for sensitive skin. All three of these sunscreens have the same packaging but different colours. They have screw top lids which make them really easy to use and they disperse the liquid very easily. Looking at the three formulas side to side, you can see that two of them have a stronger white cast whereas one has no white cast. And you can also see the difference in finish. You have the matte finish, the moisture finish, and then this one has quite a dewy finish but it has a very large white cast. I'm going to start off with the Sun Killer Perfect Strong Plus. This has a long lasting formula with a matte finish. This is marketed as water, sweat and sebum resistant. It doubles as a makeup base and is removable with your regular face wash. The UV filters are zinc oxide, octanoxate, octocryoline and juvenile A+. The formula also has alcohol in it to help dry down quickly as well as a few silicones to give the skin a smooth finish. This is my favourite sunscreen to wear during summer when I'm likely to sweat and produce more sebum. The plus formula dries down to a matte finish, but it doesn't look powdery. I don't get a white cast from the sunscreen, but since I have a fairer complexion, I don't generally have this issue with white casts normally. This sunscreen dries down so quickly, I only have to pat my skin a couple of times for the perfect application. I find this formula to be too drying to use during winter. It makes my skin feel very tight and uncomfortable, so it's a summer only sunscreen for me. The Sun Killer Perfect Strong Moisture is obviously a moisturising sunscreen. This formula is also marketed as sweat, water and sebum resistant. It works as a makeup base and is removable using your regular face wash. The ingredients list also contains hyaluronic acid and collagen to keep the skin moisturised and it does not contain alcohol for those who have sensitive skin. The UV filters for the sunscreen are Octanoxate, Octocryoline and Juvenile A+. This is a great sunscreen for the cooler winter weather or when I want my makeup base to stay looking super dewy and fresh. It doesn't look like it's melting off my face, which some sunscreens can, and it has a non-sticky satin finish that works well underneath makeup or just on its own. I don't experience any white cast with this formula at all, and since this texture is so watery and milky, I don't think that it's one that would throw a white cast on many skin tones. Like the Strong Plus, the sunscreen dries down fairly quickly, which means I don't have to spend a lot of time on application. This one is my current favourite sunscreen for winter. The Sun Killer Baby Milk is a great choice for sensitive skin. This formula is not marketed as water, sweat or sebum resistant, but it should double up as a makeup base and should be removable with your regular face wash. The UV filters are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which are both considered to be physical filters, which are more suited to sensitive skin than chemical filters are. Though, this largely depends on each individual. The formula is free of alcohol, fragrances and preservatives. This sunscreen has a heavy white cast, and this is one that I choose if I'm definitely going to be wearing makeup that day. This formula is thicker, 
harder to spread out and it takes longer to dry down, but it is a lot more gentle on the skin. This is my favourite formula for when my skin feels ultra dry and needs babying. I find that the Sun Killer sunscreens work so well with my skin and that's why I have a couple of different options depending on what my skin feels like. I think that the Perfect Strong Plus is really really good if you have really oily skin or if you have more of an active lifestyle, though it is not a waterproof or a sports sunscreen. So it is important to bear that in mind. If you are going to be sweating and being in water, I would recommend just reapplying it more than you would normally. This is the only formula out of the three that has alcohol in it. Now, alcohol is not inherently bad for your skin. It is drying, absolutely. And if you have sensitive skin, it can make your skin really, really dry. This can actually be combated by using humectants in your skincare, which will help keep your skin moisturized. The drying effect of alcohol is not something that will damage your skin over time. It is a temporary result. This means that once you wash it off and apply your hydrating skincare afterwards anyway, your skin will be back to normal, so there is nothing to fear from having alcohols in your skincare. In fact, they can actually be really, really good for you. In case of this sunscreen, it dries down so quickly and it has a matte finish, and that is definitely helped by having alcohol in the formula. However, if you have tried alcohols and tried using them in conjunction with humectants and you find that it still makes your skin so dry, like me in the winter, I would not choose an alcohol-based sunscreen, I would definitely go for the Perfect Strong Moisture. This one does not have the sunscreen, but it also contains things like hyaluronic acid and collagen, which help keep the skin moisturized, though you do have that dewy finish from that sunscreen. And because it doesn't have the alcohol in it, it doesn't dry down quite as quickly as the Perfect Strong Plus. The last one, which is the baby milk, is probably my least favorite out of the three formulas, but it was really interesting to try out because it only has the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which are considered physical filters. A common myth is that a physical filter is going to reflect the sun from your face, basically the UV rays, but this is actually not true. But physical filters are less irritating to the skin than the chemical filters are that you see in the other two sunscreens. So if you have very sensitive skin or you're wanting to use sunscreens on children, Literally, the baby milk is marketed for children or those with extremely sensitive skin. Just be aware that there is a massive white cast from that sunscreen because both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are really, really prone to giving you a white cast. So if you have darker skin than me, it's going to be so much more obvious. If I can see it on my skin tone, it is a lot of white cast. But that's all I had for today for the sunscreens. If you would like to see any other brands and comparisons between some of the formulas, then do let me know what you would like to see down below and I will definitely do some reviews for you. Sunscreens are something that I go through really, really quickly. So for instance, one of these is about, I think 30 mils. Yeah, so this is a 30 mil container. They don't come in anything bigger unfortunately, and I would go through one of these a month at least. So if you would like some comparisons, do let me know because I'm happy to bulk buy a bunch of sunscreens because I know that I'm going to use them. <laughs> but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. Bye!